Hey guys, Lama right here, and welcome back to another Lego Bakugan. Now, before I even start this, I do have to say this outright. This is not a real Bakugan. The Bakugan that I'm going to show off in this video does not actually exist. Much like the first Bakugan, the first Lego Bakugan I ever made and posted on this channel, it is a Bakugan that I came up with. It doesn't actually exist in either the show or the game. So, yes. It is my own custom-made, custom-thought-up Bakugan. Uh, this Bakugan is somewhat of a trap, I guess. Um, and I like to call him... Fortress Dragonoid. So here he is. Um, as you can see... He's kind of designed as if he were a castle. Like these are the castle walls with the little spike pillars and everything. Once again, this Bakugan does not exist in real life. Just gotta keep saying that. That's the last time I'm gonna say it. But I feel the need, like, I gotta say it a few times. Because I don't want comments of people being like, I've never seen this Bakugan ever. That's because it doesn't exist. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Fortress Dragonoid here is kind of a trap. You could kind of figure that out just by looking at it because he's not a ball. He's like a wheel. And that's how I would imagine him rolling. I've never attempted to roll him, so... I mean, I wouldn't imagine that it actually works, but let's see if it does. Actually, it kind of. I mean, yeah, it kind of rolls like a wheel. So yay. Yay. That's pretty cool. Um, for ball size comparison, or fortress mode, I guess, in this case, uh, we're going to get him with the previous three Bakugan videos. We have uh, Serpenoid, Falconeer, let's just move these over, and Dragonoid. So here they all are. Uh, give a comparison. So, Fortress Dragonoid is quite a bit bigger, as you can see, than the others due to its strange fortress design. But, um, I like it a lot. I like it. For my own custom made Bakugan, I'm very proud of it. Um, but yeah, let's get to looking at him himself. Um, so once again, you can see he's based off of a castle, and my idea when I was making this was, it's a dragon that comes out of a castle, he turns into a castle, I thought that was a cool idea, so that's what I went for. So to transform him, you're just gonna take this big old tail section up here, off the top, and it's just going to lay down here, like so, kinda got... An homage to my uh, first ever Lego Bakugan here uh, with the twin tails at the end. Um, next step, you're going to come up to these blue pieces here, and those are just going to be rotated 360, like so. Uh, then you're going to bring these up, and these become the wings. Then you hinge all the oops, you hinge the head up and you rotate these little spikes that are on his head upwards. And then last but not least, you come into this little area here and you push in on these panels and these little baby wings will come out just like um, certain dragonoids had later in the Bakugan series, during like New Vistroya and stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is Fortress Dragonoid. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Big old castle wings, big old tail with two tips, um, spiky dragon head, um, little baby wings. <laughs> uh, these pins 
The only purpose they serve is to solidify this so this doesn't like collapse in on itself. That's the only thing that the pins are there for. But looking at them, I guess you could say that they were arms if you felt like it. I don't see them that way, but if you wanted to say that, I guess you could. Um, so yeah, uh, he looks pretty cool. He's a little bit more complex than the other Bakugan because I had to create my own design and my own transformation style for him. Um, so he is a little bit more intense, I guess, than the others because like the, the rotating bits and stuff on him. Um, but as a size comparison, let's go ahead and get the other Baku boys. Uh, we got Dragonoid, we got Falconoid, or Falconeer, not Falconoid, and Serpanoid. Um, and here is Dragonoid sitting next to his cousin, I guess, Fortress Dragonoid. Um... And I guess in the future, I probably could make a red version of this. Make like an uh, uncannon evolution of another Dragonoid. But uh, I, don't, I don't feel like Drago needs this. He has, <laughs> he has plenty of forms already. So, yeah. But yeah, um, that was my Fortress Dragonoid Custom Bakugan. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button to show me that you did. And as always, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content from the channel. And I'll see you guys later.